Today, I want to talk about installing the Echobee Smart Internet Ready Wi Fi thermostat for your home. It can be controlled via the thermostat on the wall using an internet connected iPad or iPhone or other mobile device or via the web interface where you can have a lot of customizable features and reports. In the box, you will receive the Echo B color touchscreen thermostat, the equipment interface with a cover, some manuals with wiring diagrams, and I also purchased some 18 gauge seven conductor thermostat wire. Here's the wiring diagram I used for my particular installation. There is no guarantee that this is correct or that it'll work in your circumstances. Please note though that this diagram supersedes any other one used in this video as I've made some corrections on this one. You can pause the video now to review it. As with any installation, safety first by turning off the breaker to the furnace and then shutting off the power switch on the furnace itself. My current setup is the following. The wire comes down from the thermostat and is attached to the red for R, the blue to the C, the yellow to the Y, green to the G, W to the white. That's this wire. This wire in the front goes to the air conditioning compressor outside. The red is going to the C and the white is going to the yellow. Now over here I have a red and a white wire that are coming off and going up to my humidifier. This is attached to a 110 to 24 volt AC step down transformer. So the input to this transformer is from this black wire, which is going to a neutral terminal, and a white wire way down in here that you can't see that goes to a terminal labored HUM for humidity. The 110 comes into here, converts down to 24 volts, and goes directly up to the humidifier. Anytime the fan is running, the humidifier is on in this installation. The wires come out on the other side and go up. I'm probably going to attach my interface device somewhere in this range because I have a decent backing here. What I'm going to do is detach this wire that goes up to the thermostat here. Remove all these. Pull that wire back through this grommet and I can attach that over four of those wires to this terminal here then I'll take a length of this cable 7 conductor 18 gauge thermostat wire and I'll run that from the interface box into the grommet and around I'll then attach the yellow, white, green, and red wires back up and back to the box. The blue wire will then go back to the equipment interface box and attach to the 24 volt AC terminal shown here. The other side of 24 volt AC will be jumpered down to the already jumpered RHRC terminals. 
the red and white wires going to the AC compressor will be left in place. The red wire going to the humidifier will be left in place. The white wire, however, will be spliced to the sixth wire in the bundle, the brown wire, and will be taken over to the ACC3 terminal on the interface. Then the ACC3R, the return, will come back on the seventh wire, the orange one, and into the 24 volt AC transformer here. Okay, let's check our work. The wire that comes down from the thermostat upstairs is attached to this terminal in the bottom left. The yellow and the blue are the data terminals. The white and the red are the 24 volts to the thermostat. The green wire is left unused. My seven conductor wire coming from the furnace comes in and I've attached the yellow, the white, the green, and then the red to the RCRH, which is already jumpered. Then I've taken a short wire off of there and taken it up to the 24 volt AC that this terminal interface requires for power. The ground is the blue wire, which goes back over to the furnace ground. In addition, I've attached the brown and orange wires to the accessory three and accessory three return terminals to be used for the humidifier. All those wires come back up, they're wire tied, go down into the furnace through the grommet. Let's go investigate my internal wiring on the board in the furnace. As seen in the previous diagram, I've attached the wires, the red, the blue, the yellow, the green, and the white. I've left the red and white going out to the AC compressor where they were. Now the brown wire coming from the interface it comes over and as I discussed it gets spliced into the white wire going to the humidifier. The red wire to the humidifier stays where it was and the orange wire from the 24 volt step down transformer back over to the interface box. I'm now upstairs and removing the old thermostat from the wall documenting the wiring. I'll remove this plate from the wall as well. Now I've installed the new plate for the Echo B thermostat. Attach the wires as shown on the sticker. And then we'll mount the thermostat itself by pressing it into the contacts. Now the moment of truth Turn the breaker back on to the furnace. Power up the furnace itself. Got some diagnostic lights on the interface, but green is usually good. And the red light at the bottom is syncing up communication with the thermostat. Now I won't make you sit through this entire thing. But I will say that it's a little scary when you go back upstairs and look at your Echo B thermostat for the first time because this little bee just flaps its wings for about two minutes. And being a computer guy, I figured if the bee's wings are moving, that's probably a good thing. So I'll just leave them go. It's a good thing I did because eventually it then powered up and came up to a typical thermostat screen. So just give it some time and be patient on your first install. And there we go, the initial screen of the Echo B thermostat. There's more programming and setup that needs done at this point, but at least we got this far. At this point, you need to set up your Wi-Fi, register for your account online, and set up some of the internal settings specific to your HVAC setup. But you're well on your way to making use of this very convenient and efficient device.
Lastly, I want to mention that when I went back downstairs to put the cover on, I had to reroute the red wire because it was going straight across these LEDs and I couldn't put the cover plate on. The wire was in the way, so I just routed it around the outside and it should snap in. Also, I had to put this wire down where the space was open on the side of the cover instead of up near the top where I had it originally. Once it's clipped in, you can see what I mean. There's the final install with the wire coming in on that side and the wire coming in there and the LED status lights. Well, I hope this was helpful to someone out there in the internet. And uh, I just want to take this time to mention that I was not able to test the heat and humidifier at this time, so I can't guarantee the wiring is correct. But when it gets a little cooler, I'll test that stuff out. And also, again, this was for my single stage gas heat and single stage air conditioning with humidifier. The wiring is something I got out of the book. I contacted support and I also did some wiring diagrams myself. So if it's not 100% correct, there is no guarantee that it's going to work for you. Don't burn up your equipment, ask questions, or seek a professional. I just put this out there to give you a basic overview of how I installed mine in hopes it will answer some of the questions that you have before purchasing this unit. Thanks for watching.